Hey everybody, and welcome to another segment of AstrologyAnswers.com's weekly forecast. My name is Terence Scardino. The week begins on Monday, August the 5th, 2024. But on the day before, on Sunday, August the 4th, communication mercury went retrograde. And it's retrograde until August the 28th. So you got to be careful of having misunderstandings, losing your keys, um, don't sign contracts because what you're expecting could all change. You've heard all that mantra. But the day, a couple of days, well, one or two days before and after Mercury changes directions, that's usually when you see more of the snafus and the problems and the misunderstandings. So on Monday, August the 5th, the moon is in dynamic extroverted Leo. The moon sets the public tone, but the moon is going to go void of course which I mention every week. It's no longer making any aspects to other planets. So the energy is flat until and unproductive until it changes to the next sign. So the um, on August the 5th, the moon is void, of course, starting at 8.16 a.m. Pacific time until 2.17 p.m., at which point the moon enters into Virgo. And later, around 4 or 5 p.m. Pacific time, now that analytical, um, sensible Virgo moon will be crossing over pleasure-seeking, cooperative, romantic Venus. That's a good couple of hours at the late afternoon for socializing or for talking about your feelings or inspiring some creative aspirations. On Tuesday, that moon in Virgo, because the moon goes from sign to sign every two and a half days, Virgo is very work-oriented, sensible, practical, analytical. But by early afternoon, Pacific time, the moon will square, that's the 90 degree angle, to Mars, fiery Mars. So there could be a lot of emotional moon, irritability, upsets with, because of the Mars. Now, it only lasts for an hour or two, but you wouldn't want to be have, you know, attending an interview, a meeting, or trying to have, you know, uh, heartfelt conversations with the loved ones with the moon Mars because it could get heated. But that's just early afternoon Pacific time. On Wednesday, the moon is continuing in Virgo, work-oriented Virgo. But for the day, the sun, as the sun shines, um, at one degree per day, it's going to be in a 60 degree angle to Jupiter. 60 degrees is called a sextile, which indicates positive opportunities. So, but you gotta work the opportunities to get the benefits. So the sun putting a spotlight favorably on Jupiter on Wednesday, all things Jupiter will be more favorable traveling, publishing, learning, marketing. But emotionally, that Jupiter is much more upbeat and optimistic. And Merc Mercury in retrograde is going to be crossing back over Venus, that planet of relationships. Um, that's going to be strongest from the afternoon uh, Pacific time. It kind of peaks in the early evening. But this could be quite favorable um, to, um, to uh, kind of forgive what some misunderstandings, because that Mercury in retrograde, you're trying to, you know, um, resolve and repair all those re's with the re with the retrograde, but crossing over relational Venus. 
So it could be a very favorable time to, um, to resolve any misunderstandings in relationships. And there's, there's more of this optimism and generosity throughout the day because of the sun favorable to Jupiter. On Thursday, as we wake up in the early morning, the moon has shifted into Libra. Libra is that wants harmony, it's, uh, it's very diplomatic, it's very relational, um, relationship oriented, so it's, it's seeking more peace and harmony. And on the 8th, on Thursday the 8th, there's no other planetary events other than the moon is in Lib Libra, and in the background, the sun is shining through Leo, and Leo and Libras are in harmony. So it's a good day. It's a day of peace, harmony, sociableness, with socializing with the Libra energies. On Friday, the moon continues in Libra, but late morning, around 11 to 12 noon Pacific time, that Libra moon will be in harmony with expansive Jupiter. Good for your feelings, the moon, you, it's gonna be much more upbeat and optimistic. You might be feeling like more adventurous and more outgoing, certainly more sociable as we're going into the weekend. And all things Jupiter um, are expanding, traveling, learning, teaching. The moon will go void, of course, again, but this time for over 24 hours, which is pretty unusual. So the moon will go void, of course, in Libra at 2.45 p.m. Pacific time and continue through the next day on Saturday to 3.35 p.m., at which point it moves into Scorpio. So this is a long period. It's all, most all of Friday night of going out and socializing. Moon void, of course. Just stick to your routine. Rest. It's good for introspection. Um, but it's important. It's advised not to start important new projects. Doubly so because discerning Mercury is retrograde, and when Mercury's in retrograde, it's favorable for getting back to old projects and dusting them off and trying again, but it's never advised overall when Mercury's in retrograde to initiate new projects, new jobs, and doubly so when the moon is void, of course, because the energy is very flat and unproductive. Saturday, the moon, void of course, insociable Libra, until 3.35 p.m. Pacific time, at which point the moon goes into Scorpio. Now, the diff there's a big difference when the moon is in Libra to when the moon is in Scorpio. Libra wants to be very sociable, very friendly, um, always wanting um, harmony and peace. Scorpio tends to be more introverted, more private. In some ways, the Scorpio's energy is like, I'm just gonna do it myself, leave me alone. And the Libra is, how can we all get together and, <laughs> and join hands? Now, that moon in Scorpio can be very introspective and very passionate. But when it goes into Scorpio on Saturday at 3.35 p.m. Pacific time, it's immediately going to be squaring or forming a hard angle to Pluto. And Pluto is the ruling planet for Scorpio. So that mid-afternoon for an hour or two could trigger as when the moon goes into Scorpio, some really deep feelings, some deep reactive reactions. Could be exposing secrets. Could also be good 
for research, you know, um, uncovering what's been hidden. That's all that Scorpio Pluto energies. But for going into a Saturday evening, the passions are so much more intense. Um, and on Sunday, as the moon continues in Scorpio, I always say with Scorpio, it's all or nothing. It's going to be in harmony with the love planet Venus. But early in the morning, 7, 8 a.m. Pacific time. And um, so people who might live on the east coast of the United States or in Europe, you'd be more awake and it's Sunday and that moon Venus can be very sociable. Um, so I want to thank you for tuning in. I hope to see you next week with my next segment. Until then, be safe and well.